Hello, Cram Stoppers. One fast one. Hopefully this is fast. I just want to point out the fact that as the Democrat narratives are, or were, or, well, are, uh, crumbling one after another, we get one hobgoblin after another, right? Uh, so the whole Russia story, which was complete bullshit, and I hope you never, f I didn't even make videos about that because that was so false and stupid, I can't even believe people would... Anyway, Russians hacking our elections. Not, was, not that Hillary Clinton was a horrifyingly poor candidate, couldn't even beat Barack Obama, and then couldn't beat Trump. Uh, it was the Russians that did it. Uh, so you have uh, that story fell apart completely. And then, uh, you know, the racism thing in this country. Oh, but then we had the hurricanes come, and it, it was pretty clear that the racism in this country is pretty much whipped up by the media and our government to try and keep us divided. But then when it turns out, when push comes to shove, you got you, lots of pictures in Texas and Florida and all over the place in the Southland after those hurricanes. People helping people, didn't matter what color they were, right? Black guys carrying white guys, white guys carrying black guys, whoever, you know, the old women, black old women being carried by young white guys, uh, young white guys carrying old black men, whatever, right? They were just helping each other out because that's what us humans do here in the United States. And that story about racism, complete bullshit. Uh, is it done? Are we done with racism in the United States? Absolutely not. I I'm, don't even think about that. The last thing, anyway. The, that's the last thing on our minds, though, is racism. Uh, or all the isms, sexism, so forth. And the, what mental cowardice from these fuckers to say that the only reason why we don't like Barack Obama or Hillary Clinton is because of sexism or racism. or Not because they're bombing people, not because of the pedophilia, not because of all the other horrific, and I mean, you know, the bankers ripping you off, destroying our economy. None of that. It's all about sexism and racism. Painful. Anyway, narrative after narrative falls apart, and what happens when uh, you need a distraction? So uh, there's a gun thing going on there in Vegas. That just happens to fit in nicely, and then the Vegas story is falling apart. So then what? Oh, there's a, it's a. I saw this in comments, and I and I t tend to agree that I don't understand how these uh, Hollywood starlets, who are rife with uh, satism and pedophilia all around them, uh, are going to get away with. Uh, turning in Weinstein or others without besmirching themselves because it's pretty clear that uh, they're a part of that action also. Uh, I mean, even Rose McGowan, I mean, I give her props for coming out and so forth and letting the floodgates open. Oh my goodness, this whole thing just went crazy. But I mean, even the Weinstein story, if you take a look at uh, the, how it came about, uh, was absolutely greed and Erebus and uh, them trying to push him out and they figured out that they could sacrifice him. Um, and get the company. But then all these other starlets came out, and like, you know, as the one guy said, like a coven uh, sacrificing Weinstein to try to save themselves from uh, what comes. But they you know, right? They put up the sacrificial lamb of Weinstein. And again, what's that story for? That story comes out, interestingly enough, right as we start having absolute, complete uh, proof that the Las Vegas shooting was complete bullshit, right? That one uh, lone gunman story. Uh, is the bullshit part. The actual people getting shot is not the bullshit part because it's pretty clear that those people were herded and then shot down. I mean, our government is turning, and, and I'm not saying it's Trump, I'm not, I mean, I'm not saying it's the official government of the United States, I'm saying it's that deep state, and that deep state will turn guns on you to get their agenda, right? I mean, to get their policies pushed through, and uh, it should be pretty clear to you. But after the uh, one Democrat story after another, after one of their narratives uh, falls apart, they come up with a new hobgoblin. Vegas shooting. They come up with a new hobgoblin. Oh, Weinstein. Well, I don't know what's going to be next, but uh, we're headed toward November 4th where they're making all kinds of noise about how they're going to resist and all this other stuff. Like I said, it should be very interesting to see what happens. But just be aware that uh, all of these stories, and that's why a lot of times I don't make videos because it's just playing into it. And let's let's all talk about whatever it is they want us to talk about and not focus on the fact that we have satanic pedophiles ruling this nation. I mean, there are satanic pedophiles. There are such things. That's the first thing that had to get through our heads. I, dude, I had a hard time with it my own self. Uh, really? There's that many? Oh, yeah. And it turns out a lot of these guys, see, because I come from a tradition or fr from people in the mathematics, and a lot of these mathematicians, uh, Saturn is the guy, right? Hermetic principles, part of the deal. Uh, you know, a lot of these masons, a lot of different uh, quote-unquote secret organizations, uh, and priesthoods and other things, they have to do with the cube, and anyway, it turns out it's a whole, just, it was right there in front of our eyes the whole time, and now people starting to figure out, it's not just a few of them, it's a lot of them, and uh, they have a lot, a lot of accomplices, uh, comedians, right? 
you're going to start seeing the famous faces come down. Politicians, judges, many, many of them. They cannot operate, like I said, early on when I was just first a little naive little boy, didn't know what the hell was going on, uh, like a lot of you, uh, realized that, wait a minute, there's there's a whole network here, there's an industry here, there's a whole, oh, wait a minute, and then it turns out child trafficking is like the number one most lucrative business there is. Right? These little child prostitutes. And if you can get one that has Down syndrome, better than that because they can't talk. Or if you can get a deaf one, I mean, it's just so vile and disgusting. There aren't English words. Of course we don't want to look. Of course you don't want to look. But you got to look. And not only do you have to look, you got to put it into it. Like, this needs to end. And I'm calling again on you guys that have badges and guns to just fulfill your fucking oaths. Just do what's right. All you got to do is what's right. Don't tell me you don't know what to do. Don't tell me it's not that easy. Don't tell me you don't understand the politics. I absolutely understand that your career can be ruined for a while. But if you're on the right side of this, uh, I think you'll get kudos. If you're on the wrong side of this, you may end up dead. Either by your own hand or by the mobs. Because as people start to figure out that this is reality and it's what it takes, it just slowly but surely seeps into the collective unconscious until people start waking up all over. And that's what's happening. You're seeing it all over the place. I'm not the only one. I just happen to be one of the early ones. And now it's like it's a fire. Uh, and you're starting to see it everywhere, right? For It was smoke and it was smoldering and poof, the flames kick in. And now it's a small fire and we need to make it a big fire. And the way that happens is you put pen to paper, start writing everybody you know that could do anything about this. That's supposed to be, uh, you know, part of the public trust, police, judges, uh, elected officials, etc. Uh, anybody you know, uh, and just and see every time you write a letter, that lets them know we're not fooled. That lets them know that uh, people understand that yes, there's pedophilia going on, there's child trafficking going on in the United States. And the uh, government agents, uh, agencies and parts of the government are absolutely involved. It's not the whole government. It's not everybody. But there's too many of them. Simple as that. Okay, so the point is uh, they're going to keep putting narrative after narrative to keep you distracted. To keep, right? It's like, little, like a little kitty every time you start figuring out, oh, wait a minute, pedophile. Oh, wait, gun. You know, there's a whole Vegas thing going on. Oh, wait, when you start looking at more into the, the uh, fact that, oh, well, look at all these famous faces. Look at all these people that have to be involved. Bezos, and uh, I mean, you still can start naming names in uh, Hollywood and in uh, DC and so forth. You can name all kinds of names, and these people knew. You see Weinstein surrounded by these people. You can tell me they didn't know. I listened to this all the time when I was in LA, and people are like, oh, I had no idea. I didn't know I was a right, right in front of your noses, but you had no idea. You just didn't want to look. They were joking about it. Uh, it's just, it's gotten out of hand. And what must happen is there must be action. And if our elected officials and uh, law enforcement will not take action, or in, in fact will guard them and uh, hunt guys down to keep the secrets, and because I mean, there's plenty of murders that have come out of this. I mean, people that were trying to expose this, you know, guys that that poor girl that went down to Haiti to go investigate Silsby and then wound up dead. Uh, and there's plenty more of people that uh, have risked their lives. They tried to kill. What the hell was that guy's name? The uh, he's another YouTuber, and he got off of YouTube. Anyway, he David was Seaman? Uh, yeah, Seaman. There you go, David Seaman. He was uh, another one. They tried to poison him. It, it looks like, and uh, others uh, that made got a little too close and started making a little too much noise. Um, uh, you know, you got to give them props because, in despite of all this, uh, people still speak truth to power. Because, damn it, you cannot continue to rape children. These are innocent children. These are babies. We're talking about kids, little little kids. Like little kids. And it's just so disgusting what they do. Uh, it needs to end. And you need to get outraged. See, because uh, being sad about it and crying and, and being scared, that's no power in that. But you get angry, and angry people get things done. All right, Crime Stoppers. Uh, try to keep this one short. But, I mean, just wake up and try to wake up as many people as you can. And the way you do it is, I mean, there's, I don't, actually, I don't have a way to do it. But the, you just got to put the information out there and see who uh, wakes up and who continues to de deny. Because what we have is cognitive dissonance to the, to the fact that, and, and you gotta understand it. I mean, just understand how disgusting and vile this is. Of course these people don't wanna look. Of course these people wanna admit that they voted for pedophiles. Of course these people don't wanna admit that they were fooled, right? It's always much easier for them to, uh, what is it, uh, that was, um, Samuel Clemens, Mark Twain said, right, it's much easier to fool, to convince, to fool somebody than to convince them that they've been fooled. 
and they have been fooled. The deceivers. That's that's what he does. That's the the, the Satan, the Saturn. That's part of the deal. It's in the Bible. It's in every holy scripture. It's all over the place that these guys are deceivers. Now I can go further than that and say, look, there's only one thing. Right? It's all God. It's all only one thing. But that aspect needs to be put to an end. Simple as that. Because uh, there's only one thing in this universe. But uh, that one thing contains. You know, you are all of that. The worst thing you can imagine, you're that. The best thing you can imagine, you're that. Right? I am that. I am. Okay, Crime Stoppers, uh, be of good cheer. It really looks like we've got them on the run. I mean, like it's starting to, right? The avalanche is coming. The first snowflakes fell, and finally that avalanche is coming down the mountain, and they know it's coming for them, and they are panicking. You expect them to do crazy things as it uh, as this thing unfolds because they're going to do everything they can do, like little children, to distract you from the, fa the, the absolute fact that there is, in fact, pedophilia and child trafficking going on in the United States. From, like I said, from the lowest, and I've seen great comments, thank you guys for the comments, uh, from the lowest to the highest, from the popes and kings and queens down to the most slavenly, disgusting lowlife, there are many people involved in this. And again, not all of them satanic pedophiles, some of them just perverts, some of them just obsessed with sex and with children, have no satanic element whatsoever, not organized, uh, which makes it that much more uh, difficult to weave your way through. But many of them, many of them in organized fashion, and that is the forbidden fruit. If you will uh, you let us videotape you having sex with children, you can have anything you want. Right? We'll, give you, we'll give you money, power, fame, fortune, movie career, po political career, big whatever it is that floats your boat, uh, if you'll just come into the fold and become one of us, uh, you know, and go, enter into the rites of satanic pedophilia. And from what I've seen in many different videos and uh, books now, there's all kinds of books, I should probably put links, go on Amazon and just do some searches on this, because uh, people have written books for decades about this, as it turns out. Ugh, it's hard reading, I'll tell you what. I got through like two of them and I just went, I can't do this. Seriously, seriously it causes, ugh, it's just it's disgusting. But the idea is, that this has been going on, as one guy said, for thousands of years. That doesn't make it okay, and that doesn't mean they're going to keep getting away with it now. Consciousness is rising, and uh, if they've been getting away with it in the past, even more, we need to stop it now, once you become aware. Uh, and there is no statute of limitation on this. There is no, just because it happened 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, however long ago it was, uh, there is no statute of limitations on child rape and murder. Right? It's, it's uh... Anyhow, point being, uh, get out there and make some noise. Inform others. Inform as many as you can. Keep your eyes open and watch out for the, the continued false flags that are come that are going to come to distract you. Because the main thing, right? There's like in when it comes to our financial system, main thing, Federal Reserve, right? It's all about that bank and them. <laughs> that whole system that is a complete fraud that keeps the wealth of the nation and keeps the people impoverished because they print all the money they want, loan it back to us in interest. Anyway, that's the main thing there. The main thing here is pedophilia, child trafficking, right? All the other stories, all the other stuff, a lot of that is just, I mean, not that they're not important, but what I'm saying is that they are putting them out there to distract you and to keep you from taking these people to task and putting these pedophiles in prison or worse. Um, because a lot of these guys, the pedophilia, it's not just, you know, raping children, it's also the fact that they're sacrificing these children, so that's murder, uh, in ritual sacrifice, and we can put these guys in prison forever. Uh, or put them to death, uh, depending on what state they're in. Anyway, Crime Stoppers, uh, e pluribus unum, again, united we stand, united we can defeat this thing, uh, anyway, talk to you soon.